Hello, good morning, or maybe good afternoon when you're watching, joining us. Welcome to virtual services for grade schoolers and their families. I am so glad that we get to be together on this very serious day, Yom Kippur. I know it seems like it's such a serious day. Everyone seems really focused and maybe the adults are fasting. Maybe you're trying to see what it's like to go without some favorite food just for a day. It's tough to go without things that you like. It's hard not to be able to do the things that you like or eat the things that you like. Yom Kippur gets a bit of a bad rap. It's a serious holiday, so it's a holiday. But our ancient rabbis, all those Jews long time ago, they didn't see it as a really, really uh, holiday. They saw Yom Kippur as a happy holiday. We should be excited, we should be glad, we should be joyous. We're wearing all white, so we're being careful not to get it too dirty, but we're excited, we're dancing around with the energy that we have, even though us adults are not eating or drinking. Why is Yom Kippur a happy day? It's a serious day, but it's a happy day because today is the day that we get to say, I'm sorry. We get to say, I'm sorry to God. We get to say, I'm sorry to our parents, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandpas, grandmas, friends. Getting to say, I'm sorry, is really exciting because it means that you get to hit the reset button on a relationship. You get to come clean and get into a good place with people that you love. What's not joyous about that? So let's get started with our Yom Kippur service. It's gonna be joyous, there's gonna be songs, there's gonna be prayers, there's gonna be lots of great opportunities to say, I'm sorry, and I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for that. Let's go. Tovu manai, shevet achim gam yachad. He name ma tovu manai, shevet achim gam yachad. He name ma tovu manai, shevet achim gam yachad. He name ma tovu manai. Shevet Achim Gam Yacha Hine Ma Tovu Manai Shevet Achim Gam Yacha Hine Ma Tovu Manai Shevet Achim Gam Yacha Yalla la 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 Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening? to my prayer can you hear my voice can you understand am i awake am i prepared ya la 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 Yalla la 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 Yalla la 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 Barechu et Adonai Ha-mevorach Baruch Adonai Ha-mevorach Le-olam va-hed Le-olam va-hed 
呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来来来，呀啦来。Just like we did on Rosh Hashanah, we're going to dial in the intention of the Shema. We're going to say it a few times, three times to be exact. And then we're going to take a moment, take a breath, and say out our full Shema. Yes, Shema, Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kivod Malchuto, Le'olam Va'ed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוך בך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לטוטפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישעריך. There's a story about Yom Kippur services. There was a kid standing between their parents and the kid was and the parents leaned down and said, you're whispering louder, we can't hear you. And the kid looked up and said, I'm not talking to you. During the Amidah, there are words that we say generally out loud. We sing those parts out with all of our hearts. And there is part of the Amidah that we say silently to ourselves. God loves to hear your voice, nice and loud, whether you've got a good voice or a less good voice. God just loves to hear your voice. God also loves to hear when you just say words quietly to yourself in a whisper. And God really loves to hear those words in your heart, the ones you don't say out loud at all, but that you're thinking and you're feeling. God loves all of it. And those are all great ways to pray. So I hope during our Amidah, during the parts we sing out loud, you can sing those parts out loud. You can sing them in your heart. For the parts we do quietly, you can say them quietly to yourself. You can say them in your heart. God loves all of them. I love all of them for you. And I hope that you at least try all of them too. If you need a reminder of the different things you might be thinking about or praying about or talking about during your silent part of the Amidah, you can look at your Amidah list. Look at the things that you're going to ask questions to God, or maybe you're going to say the things you're grateful for, or maybe you're going to tell God about all the things that you're hopeful for. God loved all of that stuff, too. <laughs> Adonai, 
תהילתך אדוני שפתי תפתח ופי אגי תהילתך ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו אלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו אלוהי אברהם אלוהי יצחק ואלוהי יעקב אלוהי שרה אלוהי רבקה אלוהי רחל ואלוהי לאה האל הגדול הגיבור והנורא אל עליון גומל חסדים טובים וקונה הכל וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות ומביא גואל לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה זוכרנו לחיים מלך חפץ בחיים וכותבנו בספר החיים למענך אלוהים חיים מלך עוזר ופוקד ומושיע ומגן ברוך אתה אדוני מגן אברהם ופוקד שרה אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני מחיי מתים אתה רב להושיע משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם מחייל חיים בחסד מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים סומך נופלים ורופא חולים ומתיר אסורים ומקיים אמונתו לישני עפר מחמוך בעל גבורות ומדום מלך מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן אתה לחיות מתים ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי המתים עושה שלום במרומה הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואימו אימו אמן יעשה שלום יעשה שלום שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל יעשה שלום יעשה שלום שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל יעשה שלום יעשה שלום שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל יעשה שלום יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. We are your people and you are our God. Those are words that make sense for prayers, right? We are your children and you are our parent. Okay, I kind of get it. That sounds very, you know, high holidays-y. We are your flock and you are our shepherd. We are your vineyard and you are our keeper. We are your creation. You are our creator. We are your loved ones and you are our beloved. Anu Amecha, you can see those words on page 121. 
That's what we're singing in that prayer. We're saying, oh God, you are all these things to us and we are all these things to you. Doesn't it kind of seem like, I don't know, overkill? We say, oh God, you're God. Yeah, shouldn't that be, you know, like the best title? But as Jews, we believe that God, as the title, actually encompasses all these different aspects of God's self. If you did the Anu Amacha list, maybe you have some interesting ideas on there. In what ways is God kind of like a parent? In what ways is God kind of like a shepherd? In what ways is God kind of like someone who tends a vineyard? God has all these different aspects because God is all different things to everybody. We're going to sing Anu Amacha, page 121. If you look at page 122, you find the Ashamnu. The Ashamnu is a great song, but it's not a happy kind of thing. We are actually kind of listing all the ways that we have missed the mark. We say, as we knock our hearts a little bit, we've been cruel and we've teased and we've lied, we've acted wickedly, we've quarreled. That means we've been in fights. And we all stand up and we all say these words all at the same time, but here's the question. What if you didn't do something on the list? Are you really supposed to stand up and say, oh, I got in a fight? You're like, I never got in a fight. I've never been in a fight. Seems a little silly, right? Nope. The answer is actually right here on the page. Because kol Yisrael arivim zelazet, all of the Jewish people are responsible for one another. Now, this doesn't mean it's your fault if somebody else missed the mark. Of course, it's not necessarily or always the case. But it's that when we stand up and we list all these ways that we have missed the mark that year, it makes everybody else feel better that, you know what, they missed the mark too. We've all messed up. And if you're only supposed to stand up and say the things that you actually did, you probably wouldn't want to do it at all. Who'd want to risk standing up in a big room and saying, I have been a liar? You're the only one. You might be the only one you wouldn't want to say it at all. So by everybody saying all of the al hates, all the stuff in Hashem knew all together, it makes us all feel more confident in saying, yes, we messed up, and yes, we need to do better. So stand on up, get your hand ready, to tap your heart, page 122, Virshanu, Zadnu, Hamasnu, Tafalnu, Shaker, Avinu Pashanu Sararnu Kishinu Oref Ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
רשענו, שיחתנו, תיאבנו, טעינו, תיתנו, איי Tabbing hand ready as we look at the bottom half of the page, 124, say along with me. For the sin we have sinned against you by acting selfishly, by hurting others, by not respecting parents and teachers, by lying, by being greedy, by gossiping, by acting irresponsibly, by cheating, by rushing to do evil. For all these sins, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, Grant us a new beginning. to say, oh God, you are our parent, God, you are our ruler. But sometimes you have to have a little help. So we have brought back, so to speak, all of our families. They will lead us in the English of Avinu Malkenu on page 42. You can follow right along, followed by singing it with Joe. Avinu Malkenu, you who are our only God, grant us a good new year. Shachrar otani medikoi veshelo tie od milchama o haras. Avinu Malkinu rid us of oppression and let there be no more war and destruction. Avinu Malkinu, forgive and pardon our sins. Turn to. Yeah! 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 Avinu Malkainu, heal the sick and, and remember those in need. Avinu Malkainu, write us in the Book of Happiness. Avinu Malkainu, write us in the Book of Forgiveness. Avinu Malkainu, muestranos tu misericordia y amor bondadoso. Avinu Malkainu, show us mercy and loving kindness. Avinu Malkainu, do not turn us away unanswered. Avinu Malkainu, love us and answer us, for we try so hard. Please show us kindness and mercy. Vinu Malkenu, Vinu Malkenu, Vinu Malkenu, Nenu Vanenu, Kiembanu Masi, 
semanu sedaka vahese semanu sedaka vahese beoshi enu vinu make Hi, welcome to Kohane pre Yom Kippur Rosh Hashanah hiring period. This is so exciting. Have a seat, have a seat. This is great. So welcome. We are looking to hire, I wouldn't say the best Kohen. I'd say the best Kohen for this job. Uh, it's a very important job, as you can see by the robes and, and the temple and all this stuff. And we are looking for just a really great candidate. High holidays are so busy for us and it's kind of our time to shine. So uh, I just want to look at your resume, see your experience, and we'll go from there. Okay, that's great. Can I just, I'm just going to Okay, this looks good. Um, so the the section uh, for experience or animal sacrifice is just blank. Um, it's a big part of what we do. I would say I'd say it's pretty much the major part. There's a lot of sacrifice uh, that we do here, uh, and it's blank. So could you uh, just tell me a little bit about that? Oh, oh, you're a vegetarian. Margie, Margie, he's a he's a vegetarian. Why would you? I mean, my cousin's a vegetarian. I love vegetarians. Um, that's great for you. Uh, animal sacrifice is kind of a big part of this job. Uh, we haven't invented prayer yet, uh, so we have the temple and we're kind of doing our thing. Um, so it's going to be pretty tough, you know, uh, just to kind of. I feel like our interests are in different areas, you know, but. Uh, we always need some people in administration. You know, there's a lot of paperwork in the temple, filing and sorting and then all that stuff, you know. Um, so why don't you, okay, uh, head back down the way you came, make a right and a right and another left and uh, go to administration. And I'm sure we can find something great for you, uh, the Kohen who's a vegetarian. That's great. Yeah, you can just take this back there for them. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Margie, Margie, a vegetarian. He, we, we. It's animal sacrifice, like Super Bowl here, which also hasn't been invented yet. Why would you? Oh my gosh! Yes, hi. Yes, please come and have a seat. Yes, welcome to uh, pre high holy days Kohane hiring. We're very excited. We are not looking for the best Kohane. We're looking for the best Kohane for this position. So I would just like to see your resume real quick and thank. Thank you. Yes, great. Uh, just to see if we're a good fit for each other. So that's great. Uh, you're not a vegetarian, are you? Okay. Just, I mean, I love vegetarians, right? Yeah. Who doesn't? But it's just you, not a good fit. Okay. Uh, great. You have a lot of experience. That's wonderful. And there's a lot of physical labor. And people don't think about that for being a Kohen, that you have a lot of physical labor to do. But there's a lot of hauling of things and animals and firewoods, like a whole thing. So you have a lot of experience in that. That's great. Uh, um, I just, I noticed your name, Margie. I noticed your name. Uh, it's, it's a lovely name. Uh, your name, you know, 
Bon, no, Halevi. It's your Halevi, not Hakohane at the end of your name. So, are right. oh, because you're right, you're you're a Levite. Margie, he's a Le she's a Levite. She's a Levite. That's great. I mean, I, we love Levites here at the temple. We really do. They do so much good work for us. This is Kohen hiring. Uh, I'm not sure how your resume got in the stack. Uh, that's a, I'm sorry, that's embarrassing for me. It really is. Uh, <laughs> this, is I don't know, this is weird. Um, so what you can do, okay, is you can just head right back down that hall. Make a right and a right and another left. And you can go see if the Levites are hiring because you never know. I mean, they always need lots of good folks down there. Uh, you know, if uh, musicians and... Oh, you, you play. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Like the, you play like the liar, Margie. She plays the, not L-I, she's not a liar. She plays the liar. It's like a instrument, it's like a harpy kind of a thing. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's perfect. Basically what you're gonna do is, you know, you wash some hands and feet, whatever, but mostly, okay, you're playing music. You're playing music when we do our, you know, Kohane thing, cause again, no prayer yet, but we really love musical instruments in the temple. That's great. Okay, I really think we'll work together one day because you're a Levite. So I'm gonna give you this resume back. And you head down the hall where you hear music, that's where they are. They're practicing all the time. They're just so wonderful. Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll work together one day. That's great, okay. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Margie, a Levite. This is Kohane hiring, we need a Kohane. You can't be a Levite or a Levi or a, a Levi or a, a Kohane. Kohane Margie. I mean, come on. Okay. Hi. Yes. Last one of the day. That's great. Uh, no, no, it's great. No, no, I'm really excited. Uh, welcome to Kohane hiring for the high holidays. It's our biggest period. Uh, you know, we're not looking for the best Kohane, but we are looking for the best Kohane for the job. Can I see your resume? Thank you. It's, it's been a day. There's a vegetarian in here and a, and a Levite. And it's great. I love vegetarians and Levites, but you know, Okay, see, you are Hakohane, wonderful. Um, and you have, you have experience in that uh, your parents are butchers. Okay, so that's great. So like the whole animal sacrifice thing should be kind of right up your alley. That's great, that's wonderful. And uh, physical labor, a lot of, there's a lot of that. You know, we have this nair tummy, the like forever light, gotta keep it lit all the time. It's a, it's a fire, you know, we kind of, we take turns, you know, so it's not like one person's job all the time, but you do have to literally stay up all night uh, and, and keep that thing burning. So that would, would that, tell me about like, would that be an issue for you? Oh, you're a night owl, Marty, he's a night owl. That's, that's really, that's really helpful. Well, that just, you know, this, this looks really good. This actually looks really good. Oh my God, Margie. This looks great. Uh, I'm very excited. You have all the qualifications. And I mean, I don't make the last decision. Obviously, this has to go to like management, um, you know, but you know, I'm sure the Almighty is going to just love this. This is great. And I know maybe it's a little premature, but I'm just going to say Mazel Tov. Congratulations. This is going to be so exciting. Yes. So all you need to do now is just go down the hall, go to wardrobe. You do get this like kind of big thing to wear so that's super exciting and there's a, a great hat like a chef's hat basically and then a lot of jewelry we're a little extra the kohanim but you know honestly like i think it works for us i think it's really good and welcome to the team i mean not unofficially welcome to the team i'm so excited to see you it's gonna be great okay go go get fitted thank you this is so exciting We know that God's ears are always open to us. God's heart is always open to us. So whenever there's someone in our lives who is in need of healing, someone who needs healing in their body or in their mind or in their soul or in their spirit, we know God will always listen when we say, hey, God, there's this person and we love and they need to be healed. But when we're reading the Torah, we think that maybe God's listening a little harder, but maybe we're saying it with a little bit more heart. So we take a moment during our Torah service to say a Misha Barak for the Cholim, a prayer for those who are in need of healing. So I want you to think of somebody, have them in your mind, say their name out loud. If there's someone in your life 
who's in need of healing, no matter what kind of healing that is. I want you to hold on to that name in your heart. Joe is going to do a very ancient prayer. We see it actually in the Torah for healing. And then I will do the Misha Berach. Keep that heart, keep that name, keep that love for that person right here. El na refa na la refa na la nu El na refa na la refa na la nu Mishabera Chavotenu Avraham Yitzhak Biyako Sar Rivka Rachel Veleya Yibrech Yopet Et Acholim God of all of our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah Bring blessing and healing to all in our congregational family and our communal family and all of our families who are in need of healing at this time Bring an end to any kind of pain they may be having any kind of suffering they may be in Bring them strength, God And also God brings strength and wisdom to their caregivers, their nurses, their doctors, to all of our frontline essential workers who are risking their lives to make sure the ones we love are healthy. And God also brings strength and love to us because when we feel stronger, the ones we care for and in need of healing feel stronger as well. Bring love, God, and blessings to all of your children, which is all of us. And let us all say, Amen. Elna Refanala Refanala Nu What better way to end any service, but especially Yom Kippur services, and especially Yom Kippur services we are doing virtually. What better way to end them than with a parent's blessing? So if you are the parent or grandparent and you are watching this with your child or grandchild and they will let you put a hand on their head, do so. If not, it still works. And if you're, you know, the kid and you're just watching this and it's you and me and Joe and we're having a grand old time doing Yom Kippur services, you can put a hand on your own head. The blessing still works. If you would like to follow along with the words, we are on page 107. So for all, for all our girls, our daughters, May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And over all of our boys, our sons, and grandsons, may God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. And over all of our children, so if you're there with big group, big group hug. If you're there by yourself, give yourself a hug. It's always nice to have a hug if you like hugs. It's always good. And for all of our children, we'll say, May God bless you and protect you. May God shine the divine face towards you always. May you receive the blessings God gives all children, but especially that of peace, shalom. And let us all say, Amen. I can think of so many people that need thank yous right now, but especially a gigantic, mega, huge thank you to Joe Buchanan for leading us in prayer and song, for bringing all of his energy and all of his enthusiasm and all of his amazing musical ability and technological ability. We literally couldn't have services without him, and there is no one I would rather partner with to bring you virtual or in person. <laughs> Great school, uh, Yom Kippur services. There's no one else I'd rather work with than Joe. So thank you, Joe, for being amazing. It is an honor and a pleasure. I also want to give a big thank you to all of our Avinu Malkenu families for letting your beautiful voices and be heard and your faces be seen. It is really so nice to kind of try to approximate the feeling of seeing our friends in the synagogue, and you make that possible for us. So thank you so much to all of our Avinu Malkenu families. Finally, I want to give a big, super huge, and totally from the heart thank you to you for letting us bring Yom Kippur services into your home. I know this is not natural, and it's not what we usually do. It's not what we've ever done, in fact, and it's a little bit weird. And I am so glad that you decided to take a chance on Yom Kippur with us, and I thank you so much for letting us be a part of your Yom Kippur experience. I want to wish you all a Gemar Hatima Tova. May you be sealed in the Book of Life and light and love and only good things for the coming year.
Thank you.